Rathwa Dhab is a small hamlet located in Kalagar Tiger Reserve is one of the least explored bird watching destination of Uttarakhand I have been wanting to visit this place for a long time now and finally I decided to execute the trip during Diwali Let me take you along with me in a virtual birding trip to the beautiful forest of Kalagar Tiger Reserve After celebrating Diwali with my family late at night me and Prati left for Rathwa Dhab There are multiple ways to reach this place which includes both train and bus from New Delhi The nearest railway station is known as Kotdwar However we decided to opt for a road trip and driving through this beautiful dense forest at night was an experience in itself By the time we reached our homestay it was morning we stayed at Corbett Raje a boutique homestay where one can enjoy local kumauni cuisine and stay at an affordable rate the homestay is owned by shivank he is also a naturalist himself also other popular guides like rajiv ji operates from the same homestay i have given all their contacts in the description box below hey what is up guys welcome to the channel so we are starting this vlog from kalagar tiger reserve which is actually part of corbett national park itself and the place where we are staying is called uh, rathudwab in this beautiful uh, homestay we are staying at called the corbett raje <laughs> so i'll have my breakfast right now and after having our breakfast we'll head out towards a waterfall so there is a beautiful waterfall here so we'll go there uh, and we'll look for a little bit of birds as well we'll keep the first day light and tomorrow is going to be our primary day for burning and uh, tomorrow night also we are going to uh, take a spin around this uh, area and see if we can spot any mammals so yeah let's see what all we can find and how the waterfall is the distance of the waterfall from my homestay was approximately 10 kilometers and the drive through the beautiful dense forest of kalagar tiger reserve was an experience itself After crossing a bridge we came to the spot from where we have to start our hike to the waterfall So we will see if there is any bird activity then we will definitely click them See this proper nature trail Unexpectedly we encountered a pair of spooky eyes hidden in dense canopy upon inspecting we understood it was a brown fish owl So it's kind of a hidden place 
not many people come here there is a village here as well there is very good butterfly activity here as well uh, it's actually a hidden waterfall around this area so not many tourists will find here so this is the trail while hiking through the forest we came across another majestic raptor a crested serpent eagle a very common bird found near the river bed areas we also came across a tiny little bird known as the little pied flycatcher however it was sitting in a place which was not suitable for a good photo so this trail is actually very tricky and slippery and i'm not wearing my shoes so yeah so we'll be crossing the river the river is also extremely pretty this one person at a time the bridge now and the waterfall is there i can see already let's climb up Wow amazing This place is really a hidden gem that's all i can say just look at my back wow really good This next level stuff beautiful now this is actually a leopard territory as well so don't come here alone and don't come here after the sunset just look at this place i saw a little fox tail i was so mesmerized by this waterfall i couldn't click it properly i got a record shot obviously but uh, i mean record footage but i could not click it but this place is unreal wow too good see now uh, you can take up dip here as well awesome just 
see the beauty of this place amazing there is the waterfall and this is the river beautiful but unfortunately there is no sign of any deeper here right now we could see some common birds like the red start and the uh, like uh, normal foxtails yeah so there are some plumbius water red start but that's about it in the river bed area we came across a lot of butterflies mud puddling We also observed a lot of plumbius water red start in this area. One pretty little female came very close to me and posed for me and I made sure that I take a good shot of her. Good morning everyone. So we are all set for our uh first morning birding session but it's very foggy today see so we'll wait for a bit i'll have a cup of tea and once the fog clears up a little bit we'll head out to the trail so let's see what all birds we can find today though it's still foggy uh, still we have started our trail i have shivank with me Shivang say hi. Hi. Yeah. So he is actually the owner of this Corbett Raje homestay, and he will be uh, like uh, guiding me in this trail. So let's see uh, what all birds we can spot today. See, this is how the view is in front of me. It's still very foggy, so it will be very hard to spot and photograph birds. But. we are hoping that it will clear uh, pretty soon though it was very foggy one single individual of a chestnut bellied nuthatch came very close to me so we have entered the campus of rathwada wfrh you can see it at my back we found our first bird a chestnut bellied nuthatch and a lot of minivets are around as well so we are looking for a uh, asian bar bird owlet let's see if we can find it see and this is the campus So there is no more fog now and we are heading down this trail. We'll try for the yuhinas here. The black chin yuhinas. Let's see. So our plan is to explore this entire region today. The light is very good now. The grey-headed canary flycatchers are my favorite and it's very easy to photograph them if you know their behavior. 
and I made sure that I take a good shot of it. We then found the bird that we were looking for, the silver-eared Messias, a very rare bird for Uttarakhand. It is very hard to click the Messias in the wild. However, I managed to freeze one of them. We also found a fulvous breasted woodpecker picking on a branch. And with that woodpecker sighting, we concluded our morning session. So after my morning session, I am now going to the river bed. So this is the route to the river bed. And probably I will take a bath in the river as well. So that's the plan. That's why I am carrying this towel. I want to take a dip in the cold water. So let's see what's the depth of the water is. If it's suitable for bath, uh, bathing, then I'll definitely take a bath. And yeah, I'm definitely carrying my camera because you don't know what you are going to see. A beautiful place. Nice habitat. A lot of fishes are also here under the water. Ah, look at this view. Amazing. We we'll cross the river from there. I don't think there will be much bird activity. Some red starts maybe. But yeah. The Kalagar side is actually pretty less explored both in terms of birds as well as uh, mammals. As far as safari is concerned, not many people come here for safari. Very nice. The cold water of the river was enough to wash away all my tiredness. I believe connecting with nature has its own magical way to heal your body and your soul. So we are all set for our afternoon session. So let's see how the afternoon session goes. We'll go to the same trail where we went in the morning and we'll see what all birds we can find. The first bird that we came across during our afternoon trail was a gem. It was the Asian bird owlet. We were actually looking for this bird in the morning itself. But luckily we found it during the afternoon session. Another bird that we were looking for in the morning was the black chinned Yuhina and we found that as well feeding nectar from a red flower but unfortunately the light condition was extremely poor it was literally dark all around so we took a very noisy footage of the bird and with that we concluded our trip to Rathwadhap if you have enjoyed this vlog, I'll request you to please subscribe to the channel and support me. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.